How you going, Cancer? We're going to do you a quick reading and see what comes out for your uh, reading. Looks like uh, somebody's taken a leap of faith, eh? Somebody, somebody dealt with a lot of broken hearts from uh, egotistical uh, people who um, held back yeah, codependencies, things like that in itself. Yeah, the Spirit guided you away from that, though, in itself. Do everything from start. So you can see that literally we shuffle the cards, everything like that. We can see that everything comes the way that it's supposed to come. So it starts from the right way, from scratch, so that way you can see everything. If I set the cards up before the camera um, went on, you would see that um, yeah, I could literally manipulate that. Now, there's spirit guiding you away from that stuff in itself, and you were very strong at that point in time in your life. Um, but yeah, like if I'd started beforehand, because I shuffle these cards for about 15 minutes before each reading, just to make sure that they're um, all shuffled. So that way it all comes out randomly. But if I'd had all the cards set, you wouldn't. it's not a matter of not trusting. It's a matter of, um, you know, I could put the cards anywhere I want. Whereas this way, it's 100% a spiritual message from start to finish. Okay, we'll be using reversals. Okay, we'll go into the past and into the future. Go into the current situation you're dealing with. There's a lot of clarity coming at the present moment. Okay, from the past, especially from the past. Okay, uh, there's, there was, um, it's a victory by moving on here in itself. Okay, swords are logic in itself, but it does show that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, um, yeah, you're dealing with a lot of gossip, a lot of tricks. There's a lot of people that made you um, hollow victories, things like that, fighting where there was no winners, but it just seemed to happen that way. Maybe somebody made you homeless. Maybe somebody put you down. Uh, maybe if somebody was trying to put obstacles in your life, commanding you to stay down, and it's just not going to happen. Spirits in the background saying, it's, not, it's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It's as simple as that. Uh, there's uh, three cards straight up. Thank you. You know what? We're going to take an extra one. And then for the last part, okay? You're very strong, okay? You may be coming into um, the complete version of masculine to feminine in the mindset because I've got a queen of uh, wands here and a king of wands. But you could also be being divinely led to a, a, um, a spiritual partner in some sort of way because they're very passionate. You could be being uh, divinely led in some sort of way. You've come through a lot of bad times here. All it did was grow you. You stepped in the right direction, so you can ascend. So you can ascend, I suppose. You see the um, growth from that mind. See how it's all grey here, and about to step onto that beach. And there's the beach in the background. So it shows that growth in your mind is magnificent. Stepping in the right direction, and you've gone past the planning stages to be um, who you are, which is magnificent. Um, yeah, man, you've made the right choice. Whatever was stabbing you in the back from the past is not good, okay? Because you can see the two swords there, the king energy there. You've made the right choice. Okay, from that family, okay, being uh, family, friends, lovers, whatever it was in itself, okay, so you can do, have your inner peace and, and have that happiness, all right? What we're going to do is have a look at your reading, right? Now, all the cards are in the spot. There's the outcome, the hopes and fears, the way that other people see you, the worldly views. This is the heart of the matter, the head of the matter. This is the current feelings and current thoughts. This is the matter in itself, okay? This is the unforeseen, the shadows, what lies beneath the surface, like the unconscious and the conscious. This is the past, okay? And we'll clarify with this deck here. And this is the future. And then when it comes down to it, we'll um, see the temperate angel watching over you, keeping you safe uh, for a new day. Uh, well, then we'll clarify with that new deck, uh, fresh deck right at the end to make sure the messages come out thorough and spot on the way they're supposed to. We have a universal wish coming in, okay? We've got the King of Swords here. Now, we just were talking about the King of Swords just here, okay? So it shows that whatever was stabbing you in the back here, okay? Temperance Angel watching over you, keeping you safe. Whatever you see, the King of Swords here, the King of Swords, whatever energy you're in at the present moment, which is beautiful, uh, you've made the right choice, okay? That's the best way to say that. You were fearless and Spirit is watching. Make sure that, uh, and the Spirit is very ferocious about you. Make sure that uh, you're protected. And then uh, as you lead on to your future, as you manifest into your future, okay? From the people that have ostracized you, put you down, um, hurt you in some sort of way. Look at that card. They're commanding you to stay down. Not good. Not good at all. You can see that um, leading into your future from the five to the six there. It shows you're um, beautiful and leading into that. It's somebody, uh, these numbers may be prominent to somebody the ninth or the sixth. Okay, maybe something or the first may be prominent to somebody or the 16th or the 19th may be prominent to somebody in some, in some sort of way for the month. Um, but and so you're fearless, man. You're so strong, and that's beautiful, like fearless in itself, okay? You've got a universal wish coming in, okay? And it's faded, okay? You've got a real universal wish coming in, okay? It's the best way to say that. It's not really going to talk too much about the uh, past here in this one, okay? We'll have a look at the past, okay? But it's really more centered on you as a soul, okay? Being divinely led. So it's in the background of this one, thoroughly, in itself. But you have a universal wish, okay? And the Nine of Cups, Alexa... What is the tarot cut, nine of cut, Alexa, stop. 
I stuffed that. I stuffed that big time. Let's do it again. Alexa, what is the meaning of the Nine of Cups tarot card? From astrology.com. When the Page of Cups appears in a tarot card reading, it can signify the emotional Alexa, depth. Alexa, stop. Alexa, what is the meaning of the Nine of Cups tarot card? The Nine of Cups is an indication of a wish. See, wish coming true. See, there's a wish coming true, all right? You've got a wish coming true, all right? And it's the best way to say that. With the fake card coming underneath there, I can read it out of the book a thousand times over, but I'd like the Alexa to start explaining a few things so you can get a, we can get second opinions to make sure that the readings are coming out right. And, you know, that's why I do everything from scratch. I want the spiritual message to come out exactly right for the right person, you know? You honestly do have a wish coming in, okay? You've showed morals and integrity. You're a very clear communicator, which is beautiful. And it shows that um, at times in your life where you've dealt with a lot of things that you were a clear thinker, a very strong communicator, you blend the material and spiritual pursuits, which is beautiful, yeah? Um, you're very brave and courage because that's what that card says, but you can see his feels up here as well coming from the past leading into the future as you're divinely led into the future here from a lot of people that put gossip, uh, tricksters and rumors in your life, things like that you didn't need, okay? A lot of manipulation and conceited people. Okay, especially with a tendency to open control, but it does show you're fated to get a wish, okay, because the wheel's there and that's the karma in itself. The justice is its receipt, but the karma's here and that's the wheel, the natural law of itself turning, okay, and right next to that, it shows you got the two of cups upright. Yeah, your wish is going to be love. It has to be because it's fated love, if that makes sense, and it's going to be a very communicative love. Now, you're going to communicate a lot, you're going to talk, okay, and you're spiritually guided to it. It's... 100% spiritually guided. You've come through a lot of times in your life where you deserve good things to come in, okay? It's the best way to say that. You've manifested your way out of whatever trapped in the mind over here, okay? Because they've got karma coming for them in themselves, okay? In itself, but you've manifested um, your way out of that. Somebody may have been born on the 18th of the month, okay? But um, it does show that here in itself, okay? See, it's manifesting. It looks like Jesus Christ. Beautiful <laughs> in itself. But yeah, see, he's got all the um, symbols there. He can use the affinity above himself. And this is eight as well. So it shows that things were playing on your mind from the past. And that's that's not very fair, okay? Especially for a soul who's born free. Especially a soul who is um, on their divine purpose, okay? Because that's a step back from the nine. It's the eight. And you don't want to step back in life. Okay, you're manifesting love. And it's going to be very communicative. Okay, you may not see it at the present moment because that's the unforeseen. But it shows thoroughly that you are manifesting real love to come in, okay? Now, it's coming in divine timing because we've seen the temperance angel here in itself, which is divine timing, but it's also harmony. You're balancing those things out, okay? You've got love coming. I'm telling you the truth, and it's a beautiful love, okay? We've got king to the queen of cups. You know it's coming in because it's coming in the background. You're just high vibing at the present moment. You have real love coming in, and it's going to be a beautiful communicative love, okay, with a lot of communication. That's not going to trap you in that mind, and it's going to manifest into your life, like literally right in front of you and that's beautiful okay that's why spirit was saying more about it being a singles read beforehand and also being a reading for um you know you personally not so much the things from the past um in itself but we'll have a look at the past okay because it does put you in why you're in this energy why you're getting the wish and why it fates on your side with that love and it's beautiful love man i've got a real because we before we started we got the king to a queen of wands okay it's right there king to a queen of wands okay with clarity coming from the past leading you to the future so there's clarity in this reading for somebody, but it does show that whatever's coming into the background is strong. It's strength into itself because you can see the strength coming in in the background there. Okay. And you are the queen of cups. That's what I mean. Your energy for all the energies, a queen of cups. Okay. It's the best way to say that. Um, it could be an, uh, it could be a, um, an air sign or an earth sign coming in, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius or a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Okay, you may, may have been dealing with the past with a, um, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming into the future, but it does show that there thoroughly. Yeah, you deserve it because the energy of the wheel is not... Um, the energy of the wheel is Jupiter, which is expansion. Alexa, what is the spiritual meaning of Jupiter? From Tumblr.com, Jupiter represents knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual growth. Mm. Beautiful. It's like expansion in itself, which is beautiful because Jupiter is the biggest, um, it's like growth, expansion, good fortune. You have good fortune because that's good fortune, okay? And there's your wish, if that makes sense. So you can see that you're getting the good wish and coming in. It's going to free that mind, okay? The reflection you put out to the universe because you're trapped in some sort of way in the past here is beautiful because you're manifesting that love to come in and it is going to be beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful in itself, yeah? That's really the only energy. Oh, oh, cancer, cancer here in itself, okay? I've got Pisces. Um, and it, yeah, air sign as well 
in an earth sign as well. So it does show you that there thoroughly, okay? But yeah, you've got something coming in, okay? Wow, the past you were dealing with, okay? You made the right choice. The two of swords, we're saying it here, right? You've made the right choice. The two swords, there's the two of swords, okay? And there's the two swords and the king. So it shows you've made the right choice, okay? From whatever family, friends, lovers it was in the past. There was a lot of ego there in itself, big time ego at that, okay? I'm going to read out what you were dealing with in the past. I won't go too much into it, but it could, only because I want to make it more of a, a spiritual message for you to know who you are and what you're coming into, okay? So what you're dealing with is somebody very overly pragmatic, rigid, corrupt, selfish, way too defensive. They were controlling you with a desire to stubborn. They were stubborn. They were holding you back. They were very gossipy, very talkative, like very disgusting in itself, okay? Um, and it's not a time to hold on to the past and let go of those thoughts. You know, that may have been harming you from the past because there was some sort of trapped in the mind here, but it gives you to see the possibilities that are in front of you, which is absolutely magnificent as you lead into your future and absolutely beautiful okay so what you're dealing with in the past was not very good they were very over controlling domineering authoritarian unchecked power they were very rigid they were very mean and that shows it there so you've made the right choice to walk away from that because he's sitting on mars and like i said before aries in itself is aries energy so you may have been dealing with an aries from the past but at the end of the day that energy in itself is is mars energy and mars is determination willpower strength and, and action alexa what is the spiritual meaning of mars energy from the readingtub.com, the energy of Mars brings a sense of courage and confidence to the individual, allowing them to take risks and make bold decisions that can bring about positive change. Alexa, stop. Okay, uh, one, two, three, maybe th one, two, three, four, maybe a number you see all the time, but that's also the process of leading to who you are as a soul. Somebody may be dealing with uh, somebody's birthday, maybe the fourth of the month as well, okay? But you can see, like, before we even started and before we turn the cards off, it shows that you've put action in and you are fearless and strength into that self. And you put that action into yourself, which is beautiful. It's got the tuning unk on his arm, which is the symbolic, uh, which is a hieroglyph in tarot for the tuning unk. Uh, hieroglyphs are paragraphs in theory. We, we, work, we write sentences and words and things like that, but that tuning unk is a paragraph, and that, that paragraph is the symbol of life or life in itself. So it shows you've made the right cho choice for your life leading into the future, and Spirit's seen that thoroughly, especially in the background here. But we can see that the things of the past were not for you, very good for you, okay? And it shows you showed bold confidence in order to be who you were. It's come straight out again there, absolutely beautiful. You've got some sort of connection coming in, and it's, it's coming in a divine timing, okay? You are the Empress. Okay, whatever you were, spirit doesn't like it when people hold people down and their manipulation hold them down in the past. So something was holding you back in the past. They were putting obstacles in your life. Okay, a lot of gossip. It's coming out again. No matter what to do, I shuffle these cards and it comes out again. A lot of gossip, a lot of person you were dealing with in the past was commanding you to stay down, putting obstacles in your life, gossip, fighting, hollow victories, things that didn't need to be there. Okay, that's definitely uh, disagreements, uh, confidence, um, stress, you, you know, you're the underdog, okay, and that's beautiful, but there was conflict with an unfair advantage. Somebody had a, was trying to make you lose in every battle. Battle They were very insecure in itself, and it does show that there with that, those two 5-5 five, five cards. So in itself, the 5-5 five, five may be a number to you in itself, or 5 may be a number to you in itself, or 35 may be a number to you in itself. You might be 35 years of age. But yeah, not good, eh, because it's like commanding to stay down. They were two-faced. You can see that they were two-faced. There's two faces here. So it shows a lot of people in that relationship that weren't supposed to be there. So they expected like a lot of, un they just made you feel unworthy and unsafe, okay? Abandonment issues. Um, it's a chance to watch for learning for miracles though as you learn into your life, which is beautiful. But there's just, you were dealing with pessimism, a lot of pessimism in, its, uh, in itself, okay? Loneliness as well in itself. But it does show you that, that you're leading towards the sun, okay? That's the joy coming in, okay? And it's also beautiful Leo energy and that strength, okay? Because they were juggling. You were juggling thoughts or they were juggling, but the success is over now so you can lead into the future because the growth in your mind is beautiful, okay? Because you're leading towards a beautiful, beautiful relationship and your pursuit of life. And that's magnificent. It may even involve marriage, okay? Because we've got the lovers, the two of cups here in itself, but we've got... um marriage here in itself it's whatever was from the past is leading you towards marriage in some sort of way you're manifesting it it's right there the same two cards are right here you're manifesting love at the present moment which is beautiful temperance angels watching over you keeping you safe but the temperance angel is patience okay it's divine timing okay there's a lot of illusions here in the past but going into the future it shows to release those fears as you lead into the future which is absolutely beautiful 
Yeah, but we're going to have a look at the future now because that pretty much explains it from the past, all right? Your courage is beautiful and strength is magnificent. Have a look at the future here. And so, yeah, whatever you walked away from, there was no growth. There was no stability. So whatever you walked away from in the past will lead to or towards the future is your divinely guided away from it. Divine guidance, walking away, walking, choosing towards to walk towards the light in itself, okay? Because there was nothing there, if that makes sense. There's the fire and passion and all the fighting in itself in that cup as you walk towards the light. And there it is, the Empress with all the fire and passion and all the fighting leading towards the light in itself and there was no stability no stability the four of coins upright is stability in itself and yeah, i asked spirit to put in, in into um the readings to make sure that things come out thoroughly and and any emphasis to make i don't even care if he bangs old bangs or drops a freaking rock on the roof or something just make sure that we can see there was no stability there in itself okay i can hear spirit so it's it's easy for me but like i just really really want the messages to come out thoroughly yeah there was a lot of six there was a lot of strength okay there was a lot of strength in your heart to move away from that Okay, they were very greedy and instability. There was no stability there. Okay, they're very, very greedy. Okay, they were fake. It's the best way to say that because it's in reverse. But leading into the future, you got beautiful things coming with a divine blessing and love. The Ace of Cups is there. And of course, you walked away. Same card here in itself. So it's beautiful leading into the future that it shows that you did make the right choice. Okay, and there's clarity in this reading for somebody. Okay, you released it so you could have the right perspective. The hangman needs to be released, but he's also perspective and he's enlightenment too. So it shows you being enlightened as you lead towards yourself. The spirit got you back. Okay, it's the best way to say that. And it's so it's a time to heal and release at the present moment as you're leading into your future because you're leading towards beautiful things and you're manifesting at the present moment. You're manifesting beautiful things into your future. Look, you're manifesting serendipity, happiness, because look, you, the Empress released um, and healed from all the sadness that you manifested your way away from because of your happiness and beautiful life coming in, okay? There's some sort of flirtatious love coming in. I shuffled the deck. It's come straight back out. There's some sort of flirtatious love coming in, okay? And with clear communication, very clear communication, all right, which means you, that's very clear communication for somebody or the love in itself is very communicative. I'll shuffle these cards up to make sure that they're all shuffled thoroughly. You can trust the high priestess and trust that your divine guidance was set right as you led towards your future because whatever was happening here, you can trust. You may have been juggling a lot of thoughts, but you can see the success is uh, from you walking away from that to you so you can get the wish upon a star here in itself in itself because of what the growth is, the growth in your mind. Justice is coming, okay, for that stuff, okay, because it was stopping the growth in your mind in itself, okay. Now, it's, when this Ten of Cups comes in, protect it with all your might because your, your energy is dynamic in itself because you do have the options coming in on your pursuit in itself okay and it's love okay i'm telling you the truth and it's love in marriage or something like that or in a long relationship it's come out again you were fearless okay what they stabbed you in the back in the past okay but there's your card there but it's victory in itself trust me so be inspirational at the present moment as you lead towards your growth okay don't think back to the past at the present moment because there's only depression there okay because your wishes are coming in that's the best way to put that your wishes are coming in okay whatever you wish for it's coming in and it's beautiful okay yeah, you, you're probably very lonely in the past there. Very, very lonely. Okay, very, very lonely. But it gave you a chance to have introspection and, and have that enlightenment because there's the introspection of redressing the things in the shadows and the skeletons in order to lead into the future. So that way when you, you walked away from the stuff and start walking towards that lie in itself that you made, you know you made the right choice because the ego was there to walk away from. There was no stability, so you made the right choice and you were divinely guided away with you just would have finally got it away. You've got options coming in, okay? Because it's right there, okay? You've got options with a 777, maybe a number to you. Alexa, what is the spiritual meaning of number 777? Gives me a chance to have a sip. From soulspace.com. Number 777 is often associated with spiritual awakening and enlightenment. You were divinely guided away from it and you know, to have your spiritual enlightenment and your awakening and, and everything, okay? Because your future is gold. The past, all it's done is lead you towards your joy and happiness and it's faded to work that way. Um, there's justice coming for anybody that did that to you, juggled you in some sort of way and the success is beautiful in itself. So they'll see that coming into the future, especially with that growth, okay? You were divinely guided away and it's coming in. I'm telling you, you've got some sort of partnership coming in. So get ready for it in itself. Have a look at the hope. Oh, the heart. Look how strong you are. Look how strong you are. Look at the strong strength because this is the heart of the reading. Yeah, over here, somebody made you a sacrifice. It's right there in itself and nobody's going to make you a sacrifice because we've got the eights here because there's the eight there and there's the affinity sign on the side. It's eight in itself. You're being manipulated by this over here in itself in your heart, okay? And that's that ego in itself. But you have a divine partnership coming in. The strength in your heart, okay, with these two cards coming in, be strength at the moment. Be strong at the moment. Know that you're beautiful, yeah? Know that you're beautiful in itself and know that that strength is coming in, okay? Because what Spirit's saying here is to protect your heart because whatever this is coming in, it's going to be so magnificent 
that it's not it's absolutely going to be beautiful because it's it's just it's, your heart is so beautiful and it's the best way to say that it's going to be a counterpart and it's going to be a divine connection so like a boss energy of connection but like i said it's coming in divine timing okay but whatever this was in the past, it had to be released because it was playing on your heartstrings and pulling on those heartstrings. But you were ferocious at that time. And you do connect with Source and you have opened those seven chakras because the heart and the head are speaking to itself with the reading. So it does show that there in itself. And you're allowing your soul to shine in the mundane and consistent practice and cleansing things up for the positive feng shui. Yeah, I love that word. Happiness and brighter tomorrows. You're leading to beautiful things. You know, seeing the light in others is beautiful as well. You know, seeing the likeness in others too as you're finding that kindred kindred soul on your spiritual path and similar paths you know it's like you're going to find somebody who's absolutely beautiful for you which is absolutely magnificent a collaborating opportunity especially with that card there in itself so it does show that there especially because it started well, before we even started before we turned any deck it does show that there's going to be communication and collaboration in some sort of way that's fated for you to get the wish and it is coming in you just might not see it at the present moment might even be trapping you in the mind if they're waiting for it because the thing is it's coming in divine time because it's divine soul if that makes sense but it gives you the chance to plan for security and and know your worth and, and being ready and in flow with abundance and gratitude and generosity and that's magnificent because the heart and the head are speaking thoroughly to themselves which is beautiful you've got love i'm telling you the truth it's love coming in and it's a real connection but spirit says put boundaries in place okay just to make sure just to make sure we don't go through this stuff again okay and that's fair but yeah absolutely connectedness oneness your place among the stars like spirit just said that thoroughly you connected this oneness and place along the stars so you you are a star in itself which shows you shine okay because it's sort of centered around the star there in itself and the things from the past should be left in the past don't don't even associate with it as you're leading to the future their justice is coming okay and um yeah, you've got growth, you've got stability coming into the future and I absolutely love it. I'm going to have a look at the the um the outside views that are irrelevant, okay, that they're other people's feelings, their worldly views. It's just, they're irrelevant. Who cares what anybody thinks? Yeah, but at the end of the day, they're, it's relevant in the reading because it does give you clarity as to what's going on in itself. Yeah, they're thinking about the ending. The death is there in itself, which is the rebirth for your tra transformation, okay? So it does show all the things as you go on your pursuit for love and you can see that transformation is bringing it in okay and it's bringing it in they're thinking about the connection and how it ended and juggling those thoughts and how they put you down and their ego-based bullshit that they put you through but it does show that they're thoroughly yeah she's in reverse there queen of swords whatever you're dealing with in the past was not good for you it's the best way to say that is not good for you at all because that's somebody aloof they're very disconnected from their emotions having a very sharp tongue clouded judgment so therefore they were judging you and they shouldn't have been judging you. thou shall not judge okay you thou has a right to judge after thou's gone through bullshit like that leading into the future yeah but thou should not judge when they don't when you can't judge a person when you haven't walked a mile in their shoes it's the best way to say that you know but it gave you an opportunity to speak your mind and be clean and 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 strong and strengthen your soul as you walk towards your future because it does show that there that what you released only made you feel better about your soul in itself and if you're not there yet you'll be there soon trust me on that in itself but we're gonna have a look at the hopes and feelings because in the the world sees you going on your pursuit at the present moment and they see that the transformation that you've made is absolutely freaking beautiful man absolutely gonna have a look at the hopes and fears all right you've got a wish coming in <laughs> and whatever wish you've got coming in there's going to be no fighting and the best way to say it because fighting is in the off right and is in the wrong way so there's fighting and conflict but it's in the opposite way okay look at all the illusions you've dealt with in the past in order to come to this soul you are if that makes sense for that rebirth in itself okay so you can see as you go on your pursuit that it's beautiful in itself no competition no fighting no hollow victories, no no gossip, no nothing. Just communicating, connection, and that's what you're hoping for, and that's magnificent as you're manifesting into your life. But she's sitting there, and she's just she's working away in life, and that's beautiful in itself, absolutely beautiful in itself, because your transformation is just absolutely beautiful because you can see how hard that you've worked on that transformation of the heart because we've got the eight to the eight as well. So eight, eight, maybe number two, you may be born on the eight as well, or the fifth or something like that, but absolutely beautiful, or the 13th, um, absolutely beautiful. Um, absolutely beautiful i just <laughs> absolutely magnificent 
We're going to um, have a look. Spirit got me to take an extra card on this, uh, the ending here, but we'll have a look as it goes through. Yeah, you've got beautiful connection, man. You were divinely guided, man. You were divinely guided away from that stuff. Okay, in reverse, you were divinely guided away because there was no there was no chance to heal in itself. But then it flicks to this card here of you being guided towards that. So these two cards come into play. So you were divinely guided away from any friends or family or lovers or things like that. Okay, because there was a lot of people in those relationships, a lot of gossip, a lot of tricksters, a lot of bullshit. There must have been karmics, lovers, cheating, something in some sort of way because they're there. It also completes out with the, to the nine is in itself. So it completes out and gives us that nine there, if that makes sense, because six plus three is nine. And that's why you got the wish coming in is because of all the bullshit you've put up within the past but it does show that you were divinely guided away so you can have your happiness because now that comes into play that's the past in itself so it shows in reverse there that you were divinely guided away for a specific reason but now those two cards come into play to say the future as you're divinely guided into this here in order to work on yourself clear that heart and have that beautiful strength that you deserve just pause and reflect on how far you've come, Ave. Eh? Just I need you to pause and reflect on how far you've come. This growth in you as a soul is just absolutely beautiful. There's spirit there, which is your level of growth, okay? It's a horrifying energy, um, Taurus energy, okay? And which is beautiful, okay? You've dealt with a lot of two-faced individuals and deceptives and, and, and things over here with ego and stuff like that. But like I said, the same cards are coming out here in the end. It shows you were fated to walk away from that in itself, okay? So don't deceive yourself. Also, don't deceive yourself out of any love, okay? That's coming into the future, okay? But just put the boundaries in place, okay? But don't, 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 don't deceive yourself out of any love coming into the future, okay? Because there's growth there coming into the future and it's a spiritual growth in itself, okay? Especially with that um, Taurus uh, energy into the outcome here in itself. That may be um, in some sort of way. Um, we're going to pull the last cards and then I'll, I'll do some energies and stuff like that and we'll leave it at that, okay? Yeah, your temperance angel's there to watch you, okay? So you've got divinely love coming in, okay? And there's it's going to be passionate. It's going to be very passionate with a lot of communication coming into the future. But we'll shuffle these up and put one card, a couple of cards on each and make sure that the message come out thoroughly. Um, that's why I like to start from scratch and fresh. So that way it all comes out exactly the way it's supposed to come out into itself. Hierophant, there's a Taurus coming into future maybe, or but that's really God to me, if that makes sense. It's finding the guru coming in, if that makes sense. You've had a lot of people leave you out in the past and there's the same cards there in itself. Justice coming for that in itself. And then there's this success coming for your future itself. But it does show that because the justice is coming into your future in itself but yeah spirits there watching over you keeping you safe which is why you're getting the wish because it landed straight on the wish in itself pause and reflect and see your growth man i am telling you the truth pause and reflect and see your growth you have grown so much and it is absolutely beautiful in itself for the outcome underneath for the unforeseen we'll just take a random card from the middle in itself yeah be passionate enthusiastic about life it's coming something's coming that's going to make you very passionate very happy your enthusiastic energy at the present moment which is magnificent in itself but what was upon the past, you needed to release it, man. The hangman's there. See that? It needs to be released, okay, for his enlightenment because it was not very good, which is why we've got these two cards which are right next to each other as well, which is healing and release. See, there's the card there and there's the card there leading into the future, which is absolutely beautiful because there was a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety from the same cards are coming out, man, again, over and over again for here in itself. And it's also in the heart there. So it shows that you've made the right choice to walk away from that in order to heal. There's the three swords they stabbed in your heart and there's the sword of justice coming so you can sleep better at night. Okay. 4-4 four, four may be a number to you. You may be juggling things or juggling thoughts as to whether this love's coming in, okay? The reason I say that because he's juggling, but there's equilibrium coming into your future, okay? You're manifesting it. Where is it here? See here? The manifestations and there's a, there's this affinity sign there in itself coming into the future. You are manifesting at the present moment. See the ship in the background? See the ships in the background? You may not see it. But it's coming. It's coming big time, man. I'm going to take a random card from the middle of the deck and put it on that one. Okay, because that's absolutely beautiful. Just remember it comes in divine timing. You are getting success. What you completed in the past is not good. You're um, coming into real success. It's the best way, okay? It was fated to walk away from all that fighting and conflict because it's come out again. It's also the same cards in the outcome. So it shows the outcome is spot on. Okay, so you've got success coming in. So just remember that okay yeah beautiful there is a divine love it's the same cards coming out over in itself okay and that's your justice leading into the future into itself as you go on your pursuit absolutely magnificent well, hard work and determination that you've put in is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful spirit we're going to start with these cards over here but yeah absolutely magnificent yeah you co-create with the divine in itself it was fated for you to walk away okay from that in itself okay so you could work on yourself and work on your soul which is beautiful because you were being manipulated in the past. I'm telling you the truth. 
you were being manipulated. All it did was help you grow in, in some sort of way and learn in life, which is magnificent. Because now we're getting into the world here in itself to see what comes out. Yeah, divinely guided away. Same cards. I'm telling you, divinely guided away in your world in order <laughs> to manifest. It's beautiful, okay? We're going to have a look at these hopes, okay? You've worked very, very, very hard on yourself, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got options coming in, okay? And there's there might be a lot of flirtation and fantasy coming in into the future, but you're pondering a thought at the present moment as you work on yourself, which is magnificent, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got love coming into your future, man. It's the same card here in itself. You've got love coming in. I'm telling you the truth, okay? Be passionate, be enthusiastic about it because it's the counterpart to that king up there. So all the things you learned from the past only gives you the counterpart into the future. But yeah, protect it when it comes in. Yeah, high priestess energy. Trust the divine God to receive at the present moment. The hard work and the determination that you've put in is beautiful from being left out in the cold, homeless and put down. Only taught you to learn the trials and tribulations as you lead to yourself. Double emphasis on learning, by the way. That's learning uh, in itself is his learning here. And it's a messenger, a message. And there's page of pentacles, which is uh, trials and tribulations. Okay, you've stepped off in the right direction. Okay, from the gossip and trickster energy, it's the same card here. You've stepped off in the right direction from all the gossip and bullshit they put in your life. Now they're regretting and they're regretting at the present moment because you know your worth. Okay, and you've got a ten of cups coming. Last card, happiness, positivity. Okay, uh, Alexa, what is the meaning of the Sun Tarot card? The Sun is an indication of happiness, contentment, vitality, self confidence, and success. Sometimes referred to as Alexa, the best stop. Sometimes referred to as the best card in the tarot. And that is the last card of the reading. And the first card was clarity. Somebody received clarity from this. You've got a 10 of cups coming, which is beautiful. And it's going to be the outcome of the love that comes in. So you'll grow together and you'll have all that beautiful coming in. It is your wish, which is beautiful. And there is success there. Just heal at the present moment. There's justice coming for the things in the past. And there's the king to the king. So it shows you're bossed up at times where you needed to. So be enthusiastic about things coming in as you manifest. You're working on the heart. It's beautiful in itself. Okay. Uh, you may be dealing with a, a Taurus, a uh, Libra, a Leo, an Aries. Okay, uh, but the King of um, yeah, the King and Queen is like um, water signs. So King uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Okay, and we've got a lot of Pentacles here as well. So it could be an air sign, a uh, air sign, Earth sign. Sorry, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, which is Pentacles in itself. And they're just energies. Just remember that, okay? They're just energies, okay? But you've got double sun. So just be happy about the things from the past. Release it, let it go, because all it did was give you your enlightenment, okay? There's divine inspiration for somebody. Have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care, and God bless.